the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with, and with your you spirit. spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in today's first reading from the book of Deuteronomy, where God says to his chosen people, giving his commandments, when you diligently observe these commandments, you will be my children. You will be my people, and I will be your God. And it clearly says, when we really uh, enjoy the, uh, the power of the sons of God or daughters of God, it is only when we are observing the commandments of the Lord. That's why that's the reason that we are obliged to obey the commandments as we have come around this Eucharistic table. Let's once again ask pardon and mercy from the Lord for the times we have gone astray from obeying his commandments and ask pardon that we may again enter into that grace of baptism by this Eucharist. I confess to Almighty God and to, and you, to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, blessed may I be a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Turn our hearts to you, eternal Father, and grant that seeking always the one thing necessary and carrying out works of charity, we may be dedicated to your worship. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. First reading, a reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to the people, saying, This day the Lord, our God, commands you to observe these statutes and decrees. Be careful then to observe them with all your heart and with all your soul. Today you are making this agreement with the Lord. He is to be your God and you are to walk in his ways and observe his statutes, commandments and decrees and to hearken to his voice. And today the Lord is making this agreement with you. You are to be a people peculiarly his own. As he promised you and provided you keep all his commandments, he will then rise you high in the praise and renown and glory above all other nations as he made. And you will be a people scared to the Lord your God as he promised. This is the word of Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsible Sam. Blessed are they who follow the law of Lord. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who observe his decrees and see him with all their heart. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. You commanded that your precepts be diligently kept, so that I might be firm in the ways of keeping your status. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. I will give you thanks with an upright heart. Then I have learned your just ordinance. I will keep your status. Do not utterly forsake me. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to your Lord. Chapter 5, verse 43 onwards. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, You shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, so that you may be sons of your Father who is in heaven. For he makes his son rise on the evil and the good, and sends rain on the just and on the unjust. For if you love those who love you, what reward have, have you? Do not even the tax collectors do the same. And if you salute only your brethren, what more are you doing than others? Do not even the Gentiles do the same. You therefore must be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let's offer ourselves before the Lord as we are going to participate the offer tree. Jesus wants us to offer all our worries and tensions. Jesus wants us to offer so-called our enemies. Jesus wants us to offer those who are persecuting us. Let's especially pray for those who are burdening us, those who are giving us pain. Let's also pray for the world the people who are in need of our special prayers. Let's keep before the Lord all our intentions, especially our families and our personal intentions. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. All for you, Lord, all for you. Everything I give to you. All for you, Lord, all for you. Make it on your own. Take my hands and feet, Lord. Take them all for you. They are instruments, Lord. Put them to your use. To spread your love and give the good news. All for you, my God. All for you, Lord. All for you. Everything I give to you. All for you, Lord, all for you, make it on your own. Take my joys and sorrows and the toil of day. Take my rest and leisure, all I do today. To serve my brothers, share with them your joy. All for you, my God. All for you, Lord, all for you. Everything I give to you, all for you, Lord, all for you, make it on your own. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for, for the praise and glory of his name, name for, for our good and the good of our all his holy church. church. May these blessed mysteries by which we are restored, O Lord, we pray, make us worthy of the gifts they bestow through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time. For the renewing and purifying their hearts. That freed from disordered affections. They may do. They may so deal with with the things of this passing world, as to hold rather to the things that are eternally endure. And so, with the angels and saints, we praise you, as without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. 
Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Sebastian, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace in, and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof. But not only say the, the word, and, and my soul shall, shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ save us, keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Let us pray. May the blessing for which they have longed strengthen out your faithful, O God, so that never straying from you, your will, they may always rejoice in your benefits. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let's go and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>